So I have been to certain cities where they would have the protesters on the outside of the show with the, you know, the signs and the yeah, 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 chat, 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 whatever. And I mean, I mean, it is kind of scary, but it's like at the end of the day, girl, oh, but you came out to see me though. Thank you. <laughs> it's time to say something nice about the Supreme Court of the United States of America. <sighs> beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. <laughs> you know her from season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race and season eight of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. It's the incredible La La Ree. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> Hi, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, love. Please. Oh my, hi, Asheville. Oh my God. <laughs> They're very happy to see you. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> now, I want to start with this. The South has a reputation for having a bless her heart approach to being a gigantic bitch. Uh, <laughs> do you abide by that mentality, or you just, or do you just let them have it? I just let them have it from time to time. <laughs> no, I abide by that mentality. But you know, every now, every now and then, you have to let them have it just to let them know, girl. I'm not the one, honey. Okay. <laughs> There's something in common. There's a um, Minnesota nice and Southern hospitality have something in common, which is that like bless her heart thing. It's interesting. Uh huh. We don't have that where I'm from. <laughs> New York. They don't do that. We don't do Absolutely bless. Not. We don't do bless your heart in New York. Bless your heart. There's none of that. Just a lot of fuck yous. <laughs> and then in California, no one says anything, and then they're just very angry in their cars. Everyone's so angry in their cars. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Do they have that here? Yeah. Well, I'm not from here, so do they have it here? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm from Atlanta, so this is my first time in Asheville, and it's. Yes, and it's a beautiful, beautiful town. I love the mountains and things, yes. <laughs> we love the mountains. Yes. <laughs> Have you felt, you know, you've been, you've been doing drag through this period of time in which suddenly the right wing has decided they really care about drag. Have you felt the effects of that as you're, as you're touring? Have you felt the effects of it in your shows? How do you see it in your day-to-day -day life? Yeah, so I have been to certain cities where they would have the protesters on the outside of the show with the, you know, the signs and the yeah, 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 chat, 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 whatever. And I mean, I mean, it is kind of scary, but it's like at the end of the day, girl, oh, but you came out to see me though? Thank you. <laughs> But does it, is it scary sometimes? Yeah, it, it is kind of scary, you know. But um, thankfully, nothing bad has happened um, in any other cities that I have been in. Um, but they, they just want to be heard, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess. Have you ever seen Love is Blind on Netflix? I, mean, I think I've seen maybe one episode of it. I think it's crazy that people claim to care about traditional values. I've been talking about this, but I am quite obsessed with it. You're like, if you're protesting a drag brunch, but you're not protesting Love is Blind, where two people pretend to fall in love so they can go to Mexico, uh, you, don't, <laughs> exactly. you, don't, you don't care about marriage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> these, these people don't care. They really don't. They just don't like drag queens. They, this is true. I don't or understand maybe, why. Maybe there's something in there they like them a little too much. Well, I would be quiet on that one because, you know, honey. <laughs> now, and that's because you've been nothing but tasteful and refined. But I'm yeah. about to make that a lot harder in a segment we're calling Miss Congeniality. Oh. Okay. Here's how it works. I'm going to read you a person, a place, or a thing. And you're going to have to say something nice about them. Okay. Let's see. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Here we go. First up, it's George Santos. The congressman who is currently waiting to go on trial on 13 charges related to fraud recently revealed the existence of a secret husband named Matt in a tweet about Dianne Feinstein's death. <sighs> nice glasses. Those glasses are really, really nice. They're, they're so big and black. <laughs> yeah, I like those glasses. <laughs> that is correct. Next up. Khloe Kardashian's phobia of whales. 
In the season four premiere of The Kardashians, Chloe admitted to a fear of all whales. Later on Twitter, she said, I low-key have a fear of the ocean, but a whale I can't even look at. It freaks me out so much. They are ginormous, and we discover new species all the time. That's bananas. The ocean, we don't even know what's in there. Uh, what do you think about that? Um, I love her usage of big words. That's very intelligent. <laughs> that was very intelligent and very smart of her to use phobia and irrational, yes. <laughs> yeah. I love it. A phobia of whales, it's like, hey, if you're interacting with a whale, that's a choice you made. Yeah. <laughs> that's not the choice the whale made. Right. <laughs> you don't accidentally see a whale. Right. You gotta go to the whale. The this whale doesn't come to you. Exactly. <laughs> Next up, he's getting more tricky. Oh. Biden's dog commander who bites everyone. <laughs> who, <laughs> you have to compliment this dog. That's the segment. <laughs> I'll 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 do it. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. tell you. He, this look. Some people, some activists try to defund the police, but Commander is living it every single day. <laughs> Stop That's it. it. <laughs> By biting Secret Service agents yeah. to send a message to, to law enforcement that we need to reform things. Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. Okay, let's see. It's time to say something nice about the Supreme Court of the United States of America. Beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. They do have beautiful gowns. <laughs> that is correct. Yes, yes. All, now, and f uh, our, your final question, the bedbugs invading Paris. Did you know about the bedbugs invading no, Paris? No, I did not, and I was just over there in Europe. Wait a minute, girl. <laughs> This is news to me. <laughs> the bedbugs are invading Paris, and, and they're there, and the Olympics are going to be there. And so Paris is freaking out because they got to kill all these bedbugs before the athletes get there. Yeah. Or not, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, <laughs> what do I say nice about bedbugs? <laughs> um, well, the... You know, they, they don't discriminate. They're small and tiny and They don't discriminate? They, they don't discriminate, obviously. Um, I'm a little nervous because I was just over there. I'm just, girl, let me go <laughs> check my bags, girl. Oh, my God. And you're working on new music right now. Is that right? I am working on new music. Yes. Yes. I'm excited about that. Um, I don't know if you guys watch All Stars 8, but I released a new single. Yes called It's Chocolate, so we're working on the album for that, so stay tuned for that. Have you had any barbecue while you're in North Carolina? No, I haven't had any barbecue yet. Um, what's really good barbecue that I should have? They all say different things. Right, I was going to say yes. Okay, yeah, thank you. I'm going to try all of them. <laughs> and no matter where you go, they're like, wrong. <laughs> you're not from here. I know I'm not from here. Right. It's like, how? yes, I know I'm not from here. You went to the wrong one. I asked you and you told me exactly. this one, but they're wrong. There's no right place to go. Everyone gets so upset. Yeah, I had Chinese food, so I don't know if that's right. <laughs> La La Ree, she'll be back for the rail wheel. Thank you so much. It's so fun. Thank you so much. One more time. 